Well, first of all, it is a Big Bang model, and in other words, there is a Big Bang but the Big Bang was not the beginning. There's a lot we know about the universe from star systems to dark matter and dark energy. Decades of research and observations have helped us understand how the universe formed and grew. However, a recent shocking discovery by the James Webb Telescope has left scientists scratching their heads. This discovery shatters the current standard model of our universe's evolution and even breaks one of the fundamental laws of physics. What is this discovery and why is it so dire? What does this mean for our cosmic model and the scientific community? Join us in this video as this James Webb Telescope image just shattered our cosmology into pieces. Understanding the universe's evolution has always been of primal importance to mankind. The desire to learn how the vast world around us came to be spiraled the birth of disciplines like astronomy and cosmology. Thanks to these fields of study, we've learned much about the vast world of space and its many cosmic wonders. For instance, we've learned that the universe isn't evenly spread out, some areas are more dense than others. This is one thing that makes scientists believe in the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory is the well-known universally approved theory of how life began in the universe. The theory states that the universe started as a single-point explosion before expanding and cooling to grow into what it is today. Several things, including the Cosmic Microwave Background or CMB, seem to support this theory. This is the remnant of the first light emitted after the universe's birth. Think of the CMB as the afterglow from the Big Bang. The light has existed for over 13.8 billion years since the conception of the universe. It carries with it information from the early universe, theories that define the universe's evolution have evolved dramatically over the years. This is because newer discoveries are made as more sophisticated instruments are introduced into the research process. These discoveries prompt the need to adjust the existing theories or create new ones altogether. However, it becomes mind-boggling when sudden unexplainable events take place in the universe in the twinkle of an eye. Such events make the scientific community wonder if there's a magical force at play in the universe or if we had it all wrong from the start. The James Webb Telescope discovered one such event. As you well know, James Webb has been the revolutionary telescope of 21st century cosmology. The phenomenal instrument has not only given us clear images of the space beyond our planet but has also allowed us to peer deeper into the cosmos than ever before. James Webb was created to observe the universe like never before. It was intended to observe the farthest part of the cosmos to seek out stars and galaxies formed moments after the Big Bang. Studying such stars would help further understand how stars and planets have evolved and give insights on how to improve or expand on the Big Bang Theory. You see, by studying the universe with sophisticated scientific instruments, scientists were able to discover and introduce other concepts like dark matter, dark energy, expansion of the universe, and so on. All of these are concepts and phenomena that support the Big Bang Theory. For instance, the theory of universal expansion depicts that the universe is constantly expanding. This means that galaxies and galaxy clusters are constantly drifting farther and farther away from each other. It's believed that this has been the case ever since the birth of the universe 13 billion years ago. As the universe expands, more and more stars and galaxies are born. Scientists believe that the mysterious force behind this expansion is dark energy. They also think there is an invisible matter in the universe called dark matter. Over the years, several methods have been introduced to measure or detect dark matter in the universe, but no true methods have emerged. The JWST, however, gives scientists an edge via its NCHEM images. So astronomers can use the images to calculate how much dark matter is present in a specific part of the cosmos. Gravitational lensing also helps in this process. Gravitational lensing is a phenomenon that describes how massive objects in the cosmos warp the space around them, resulting in the bending of light as it passes by them. Galaxies and galaxy clusters are known to cause extreme warping of spacetime, causing light from a distant source to bend. By observing the effects of gravitational lensing in JWST images, scientists are able to map the distribution of dark matter in the universe. 
and so you can see how much of a pivotal asset the JWST has been to humanity. Without it, we would have never been able to bring life to many of the foundational theories of the cosmos. More so, we'd never have the beautiful images of distant stars and galaxies like we do today. Yet, inasmuch as it has been very helpful to the scientific community, James Webb isn't relenting in its efforts. Recently, James Webb has made a couple of impressive discoveries. One such discovery is the planet-like objects captured in the Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula is a popular nebula in the Milky Way. It is depicted as the sword in the Orion constellation. Prior studies of this cosmic cloud of dust and gas never revealed any objects hidden in its chambers, but that was until the JWST came along. This is just one of the many recent interesting discoveries the JWST has unleashed. Now, there's another discovery that isn't only interesting but very disturbing. This recent discovery, as depicted in JWST images, can shatter our entire background of cosmology. In fact, scientists are beginning to think the Big Bang theory might be wrong. But what did James Webb really discover? And why is this discovery shaking our entire foundation of cosmology and astronomy? Well, recently, James Webb revealed that over 771 trillion solar systems have suddenly vanished from our universe. This means that over 771 trillion stars and their associated planets have disappeared. This is not normal. In fact, this has never been witnessed before. Moreover, this event goes against one of the very fundamental laws of physics, the law of conservation of matter. This law states that mass can neither be created or destroyed but can be transformed from one form to another. Given that the study of the universe so far is based on laws such as this, scientists find it hard to explain how an entire world of stars and planets disappeared from the universe. Were they destroyed? Or did they just shrink out of sight? Some experts have come up with a plausible theory. One such theory postulates that the disappearance of these solar systems is actually a final stage in the transformation of their mass. In other words, these stars and planets still exist in the cosmos, just in another form. We can't see this theory follows the events of stars when stars get old and can no longer hold the gases and they explode, a term we call supernovas. As the star explodes, all of its mass is scattered into the universe in the form of tiny particles. What if something similar happened to these solar systems that suddenly disappeared? While it may be possible, most of the scientific community do not agree. You see, stars do not just disappear without at least a supernova, and there's no way a massive supernova involving trillions of stars would have gone unnoticed. Such a colossal event would have echoed through the entire universe, and even our Milky Way galaxy would suffer the ripple effects. And so this first theory is being pushed aside. However, another theory has brought a different light to the situation. This theory suggests that black holes may be responsible for the sudden disappearance of these stars. Black holes are strange high-gravity regions in space that suck up matter, light, or anything that dares to get close. Black holes have sometimes been spotted swallowing entire stars, eating them alive. But then, in this scenario, the theory of black holes being responsible doesn't seem very logical. As we mentioned, we're talking about trillions of stars here. Can one black hole swallow a trillion stars? Not likely. Unless there were millions of black holes, there's no sense in saying black holes were behind this mysterious event. Foundational Understanding of the Universe in the Spiral Galaxy NGC 5584 About 75 million light years away Pulsating star stars were found Surrounding it stars that shouldn't Exist this discovery implies that the universe is expanding faster than our cosmological models depict and it thereby conflicts with the well-known Hubble constant Hubble constant is a constant of proportionality that relates the velocity of galaxies and their distances in other words it is the constant that tells the rate of expansion of the universe a Hubble constant of 50 would mean that the 
universe is expanding at the rate of 50. km slash second Hubble constant is named. After astronomer Edwin Hubble who was the first to prove that the relationship between the distance and velocity of galaxies was approximately linear by using the world's largest telescope. Hubble observed the universe's expansion and introduced the Hubble constant. However although Hubble was the first to introduce this constant the actual value of the constant has been a thing of controversy in the scientific community. Scientists have been using various methods to estimate the Hubble constant. One such method is by observing certain pinpoints in space and the distance away. From us for instance scientists can choose a faraway star in the Andromeda galaxy as a reference point then. Observing the distance between Earth and this star over the course of a year will reveal the universe's rate of expansion per year. Another way scientists have been measuring the Hubble constant value is via the cosmic microwave background you see the cosmic microwave background isn't just a background of fading light. It also has a temperature however this temperature decreases as the universe expands scientists have discovered that the temperature of the CMB decreases by about 2 Nelvin over a 10-year period. Since the cooling of the CMB is directly related to universal expansion by measuring the cooling rate of the CMB, scientists can infer the value of the Hubble constant but here's the thing. These two methods have never yielded the same results for the Hubble constant. Scientists have named this dis. Similarity the Hubble tension scientists do not know why these two methods do not agree but in any case the scientific community may have just landed another issue with the JWST UC James Webb has just proven that both these methods may have been wrong from the start and the universe is expanding a lot faster than we expected. It to be it gets all the more disturbing. When you consider that over the past few years scientists have made many adjustments to our cosmic model to match newly discovered data these revisions seemed essential at the time but now in light of the JWST recent revelations they seem like mere convenient adjustments to make up for the the loopholes in the Big Bang theory in fact. Scientists are now beginning to Seriously consider that something may be seriously wrong with our standard model of cosmology. It is important to note that the standard model of cosmology we used today is all tied to the great Edwin Hubble, his groundbreaking discovery of universal expansion in 1929 paved the way for the standard model we have today. Edwin Hubble found out that the farther a galaxy is from Earth the faster it seems to be receding into space and so he proposed that our universe is expanding uniformly in every direction. All the other concepts like dark matter and dark energy were built upon Hubble's theory and adjustments have been made. Along the way one such adjustment is the cosmic inflation this theory holds that the universe expanded at a tremendously fast rate during the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang. This enabled the initial expansion to be smooth and homogeneous however there were still loopholes in the inflation. Theory Some experts felt that such a sudden expansion would have spiraled the creation of other universes hence the multiverse theory the multiverse theory suggests an infinite number of universes. And our universe is one of many there. Theory holds that although these universes exist we may never be able to see them or even con attack them all. These are just a few of the many things cosmologists have been trying to clarify. 
and smooth out regarding our universes. Evolution but it seems this new. Revelation from the James Webb Telescope is the final proof we needed to confirm that the Big Bang Theory and all of our other adjustments to the standard cosmic model were wrong many experts in the scientific community believe that it's high time to depart from the standard model and begin to analyze his things. Arrest surely when the cosmic model was developed there were no high-tech scientific instruments like Jameis Webb so wouldn't it be wise to erase these former theories and develop a new one from scratch with the James Webb telescope many astronomers and cosmologists believe it would be wise to do so but then it would be a whole lot of work trying to develop something the entire scientific community can agree on. Moreover we just can't throw away our basic laws of physics aside all in search of new answers and so even if the Big Bang Theory turns out to be false. There isn't much the scientific community can do scientists will have to hang on to it until a better more advanced and universally accepted model can replace it thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.